Oh, it's great. It's been really busy. We've ever, all the participants have been rehearsing a ton for a couple of days. So it's been uh, building up um, anticipation for the event tonight. I'm usually a little bit too, uh, thankfully, busy to get nervous. Or, but it's, it's nice to see it when it's beginning, so, so you get in the zone. I had an awakening when I was about perhaps 25 um, to country music. I was a pure pop person before that. And uh, Emily Harris' record, Wrecking Ball, was the first step for me into the humongous world of country and Americana and roots and all that. I actually don't know if it was Sara or Rebecca that picked the song, but we were all, um, there was never any discussion, we were all agreeing on it to begin with. It's a really pretty song from one of her better records too. And to work on it's been it's a song that doesn't have harmonies to begin with necessarily. Well, it has some harmonies, but it was fun because it took a little bit of figuring it out, which is fun. And it also, of course, like any of Emily Harris's music, it lends itself really well to a ton of harmonies. So. And this is your second time performing at the polar ceremony. How does it feel to be here again? It feels fantastic, and I'm really. I'm, it's, it feels great because last time I did it was Led Zeppelin. Of, that I'm a really huge fan of as well. I mean, there's been people I really admire after and before that too, of course, but it feels like it's been really making a lot of sense, sort of, and it feels to do to do it to Emily, which is, I think Emily Harris is probably the, the biggest one of my heroes that's been awarded the Polar Prize ever, so it's, I'm really glad they thought of me.